हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बाय संतोष नपते फ्रेंड्स आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो ऑन मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस ऑन अल्ट्रा स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए बैक्टीरियल सेल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्पेसिफिकली सी एम ऑन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सेल वॉल सो If you want more questions on this topic you can refer this website and the name of this website is sanfoundry.com friends if you have not subscribe this microbiology by santosh napte so kindly subscribe this youtube channel so that you will get notifications of upcoming videos on multiple choice questions so these questions will be very useful for all microbiology students as well as those preparing for set net or msc entrance exams so let's start with first question so the first question is peptidoglycan layer is present in large quantity in option a gram positive bacteria option b gram negative bacteria option c fungi and option d algae the correct answer of this question is option a that is gram positive bacteria so these gram positive bacteria they have more amount of peptidoglycan layer in their cell walls as compared to gram negative bacteria and generally it accounts for 50% or more of the dry weight of the walls of these gram positive species but only about 10% of this cell wall of gram negative bacteria so that's why the peptidoglycan layer is present in large quantity in gram positive bacteria question number 2 is peptidoglycan is made up of option a n acetyl glucosamine option b n acetyl muramic acid option c n acetyl glucosamine n acetyl muramic acid and option d n acetyl glucosamine n acetyl muramic acid and amino acids the correct answer of this question number 2 is d that is this peptidoglycan layer which is the main component of cell wall of bacteria it is made up of all of these three components that is this first two are the sugar derivatives that is n acetyl glucosamine n acetyl muramic acid and it also consists of amino acids and the amino acids which are present in the peptidoglycan layer that includes l alanine d alanine d glutamic acid and di amino palmitic acid third question is ticoic acid present in gram positive bacteria can bind to which ion a fe ions b phosphorus ions c mg ions and d sulfur ions the correct answer of this question is c option that is this ticoic acid present in the gram positive bacteria it can bind to mg or magnesium ions and there is some evidences that these ions they help to protect that bacteria from the thermal injury by providing an accessible pool of these cations for stabilization of the cytoplasmic membrane next question is cod factor is a protein option b ticoic acid derivative option c mycolic acid derivative and option d carbohydrate the correct answer of this question number 4 is c that that is cod factor is a mycolic acid derivative so this cod factor which is also called as tree halose dimycolate it is an mycolic acid derivative and it is toxic in nature and this derivative it plays very important role in the disease which is caused by corin bacterium diphtheri and mycobacterium tuberculosis question number 5 is the outer membrane of the gram negative cell wall is anchored to the underlying peptidoglycan by means of which of the following option a brown lipoprotein option b phospholipids option c proteins and option d lipopolysaccharides the correct answer of this question number 5 is a that is brown lipoprotein 
so the outer membrane of the gram negative cell wall it is anchored to the underlying peptidoglycan layer with the help of this bronze lipoprotein this membrane it is bilayered structure and it consists of mainly phospholipids proteins as well as lipopolysaccharides question number 6 is which among the following act as a receptors for bacteriophage attachment in gram negative bacteria option a cilia option b o antigens option c lipid a option d ticoic acid so the question is here among of these four components which act as a receptors for bacteriophage attachment in gram negative bacteria so the correct answer is o antigens so these o antigens these are polysaccharide in nature and they extend like a viscous from the membrane surface into the surrounding medium and many of these serological properties of these gram negative bacteria these are because of o antigens like they can act as a receptors for bacteriophage attachment question number 7 is porins are special proteins which act as a channels in the outer membrane of gram negative bacteria so the correct answer is a option that is true so these porins these are the special proteins and uh, they act as a channels and they are present in the outer membrane of gram negative bacteria so these channels which are present in the outer membrane of this gram negative bacteria they allow these smaller molecules for example nucleosides oligosaccharides monosaccharides peptides as well as amino acids to cross or to pass across this membrane and these proteins are called as porin proteins question number 8 is nag and nam of peptidoglycan layer is linked by so these nag and nam these are two sugar amino sugar derivatives which are present in the peptidoglycan that nag stands for n acetyl glucosamine and nam it stands for n acetyl muramic acid so these nag and nam of peptidoglycan layer these are linked by option a beta 14 glycosidic linkage option b alpha 14 glycosidic linkage option c alpha 16 glycosidic linkage option d beta 16 glycosidic linkage so the correct answer of this question number 8 is a so this n acetyl glucosamine and n acetyl muramic acid of the peptidoglycan layer of bacterial cell wall these are linked to each other by beta 14 glycosidic linkage question number 9 is gram negative bacteria are more resistant to antibiotics due to the presence of option a thin peptidoglycan cell wall option b outer lipopolysaccharide layer option c porin proteins and option d ticoic acids so these gram negative bacteria these are more resistant to antibiotics and this is due to the presence of outer lipopolysaccharide layer or it is called as lps layer lps stands for lipopolysaccharide so that is the reason why these gram negative bacteria these are more resistant to antibiotics that is because of outer lipopolysaccharide layer question number 10 is which of the following are present in ticoic acids option a arbitol residues option b glycerol residues option c glucose residues and option d arbitol or glycerol residues so the correct answer of this question number 10 is d that is arbitol or glycerol residues so these ticoic acids these are water soluble polymers and they consist of arbitol or glycerol residues which are joined to each other or joined through the phosphodiester linkage these glycerol or arbitol these are joined to the sugar residues as a glucose for example or galactose or to the n acetyl glucose amine question number 11 is bears junctions are sites which help in joining which of the following option a cytoplasmic membrane and outer membrane option b outer membrane and capsule 
ऑप्शन सी साइटोप्लाज्मिक मेम्ब्रेन एंड पेरीप्लाज्मिक स्पेस एंड ऑप्शन डी पेप्टाइडोग्लाकैन लेयर एंड साइटोप्लाज्मिक मेम्ब्रेन द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर एलेवन इज ए दैट इज साइटोप्लाज्मिक मेम्ब्रेन एंड आउटर मेम्ब्रेन सो दिस बेयर जंक्शंस दिज आर दी साइट्स विच हेल्प इन ज्वाइनिंग ऑफ साइटोप्लाज्मिक मेम्ब्रेन एंड आउटर मेम्ब्रेन सो फ्रेंड्स दिज आर दी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दी अल्ट्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए बैक्टीरियल सेल एंड स्पेसिफिकली फ्रॉम सेल वॉल स्ट्रक्चर एज आई टोल्ड अर्लियर इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब दिस माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बाय संतोष नपते एंड शेयर दिस वीडियोज टू युअर फ्रेंड्स एज वेल एज स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू